While unable to find a job after graduating from university in 2019, Alan Kinudia made the decision to turn to his passion for motorsports into a business selling replica Formula One merchandise. Mukami Wambora with that story. This is Alan Kinudia's shop in Nairobi where he sells Formula One merchandise. He stumbled upon the business after trying and failing to get a job. Having been part of the motorsport scene in Kenya for five years, Alan saw an opportunity. I looked into the market and found uh, guys really want it, but uh, it's very expensive on Amazon and eBay. He took up the initiative and decided to brand F1 apparel himself, but setting up his business took a financial toll. You need a computer, that's around 15000 you need a plotter, it's around 60,000. Then you need a good heat press machine, which is around 20,000. Having only started selling the merchandise this year, he's already reaping the rewards. I can say I'm halfway through that journey, yeah, based on the sales I've made. With Formula One being a niche market, Alan has adopted an equally unique marketing strategy. One of the biggest Formula One groups in the country which has a which has even has a WhatsApp group. Now from there I was able to make sales sales. Now those guys were able to push the word out that there's this merchandise that is in town. The process of creating the jerseys itself is relatively simple. You compile all the vectors, you put them in one folder, then you send them to the plotter. The vectors are then printed out using the plotter. After the plotter, the final process is using the heat press, and this is where you embed the actual images onto the hoodie. The retail price of an original Mercedes F1 hoodie is 10,000 Kenya shillings, while Alan sells his for almost one quarter of the price at 2,800 shillings. The legality of his enterprise looms large, but one cannot deny that he has made F1 merchandise cheap and available for F1 lovers countrywide, while also succeeding in creating a source of income for himself during an unforgiving employment climate. Mukami Mbora for Citizen TV.